for others to join. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. I'm only seeing two shares. I'm only seeing two shares. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. While least we are waiting for others to join, let's share the live stream. Let's share, let's share, let's share. I'm just hoping um, my network is not going to misbehave. I'm hoping my network is not going to misbehave. Let's share. Let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. There are only three shares. I'm only seeing three shares. Let's share the live stream. Um, I've got um, a small topic that I want to talk about. I, I have a small topic that I want us to talk about. And after that, we are going to talk about... Um, why is buying after that we are going to talk about why why is buying uh focusing mainly on your wardrobe um so um to don't go tower i want to talk about the tongue i want to talk about the tongue of a wife i want to talk about the tongue of a wife so i've got only a few scriptures that i would like to share with you I have a few scriptures that I would like to share with you. Then after that, we are going to talk about something else. So, 
take somebody share the live stream take somebody share the live stream We are going to read from uh, Proverbs chapter 21, Proverbs chapter 21, Proverbs chapter 21, um, verse 9, then we go to verse 19, Proverbs chapter 21, verse uh, 9, then we skip and we go to verse 19, um, the Bible is saying, it is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. It is better. It is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Um, I know I was called for women. I was called for women and especially uh, concerning uh, marriage restoration, concerning marriages. And um, many people, many women, they come to my inbox um, telling me their own side of the story, what is happening in their marriages and all. Um, and like I said before, I only get to hear one side of the story. I only get to hear one side of the story because I cannot consult your husband to ask him, Kuti, why are you behaving the way that you are behaving? Why are you coming home late? Why do you come home in the AM and all that? Because we are request yako. I don't have his number. I don't get to hear the other side of the story. We are still praying for marriage re restoration. We are still praying for marriages. We want marriages to work. I want your marriage to work. I want your marriage to be healed. And that is why I have chosen this topic today. The Bible is saying it is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than to, to, to share a house with a woman who is contentious. Jiri nane kugara pachiruvi chemba pane kugara mumba ne mukadzi ano popota mukadzi ano neta. So I am bringing this topic. I just want us as wives to 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 introspect, make a self introspection. Am I being the best wife that I can be? Am I being the best wife that I can be for my husband? Like. Yes, I know that men have got their own weaknesses and men have got on their own shortfalls. But as wives also, we need to look at ourselves and uh, really introspect and think, am I being the good wife that I'm, I, I'm expected to be? Or I am pushing my husband away? Because sometimes Murume, your husband may find it better to spend much of his time away from home. Not because he doesn't love you, not because he doesn't want to spend much of his time with his family, with his children, with his wife. But maybe it's because you are a contentious woman. Maybe it's because you are a chatterbox. Maybe it's because you cannot just stop talking and you don't care what you say. I will say fe mashoko. Maybe we remove my asinga sefe mashoko akeka na chitaura. Kanawa kutaura, you can just say anything and anyhow. So the Bible is saying, Jiri nane kuno garapachi ruvi imba dan ku garamu imba munem kadzi ano shusha munem kadzi ano popota. As I'm teaching, I just want you to begin to introspect. Look at yourself and just think with me. Am I doing good? Do, do I deserve, uh, Kuti, whatever I'm doing, uh, does it keep my husband around me or it pushes him away? I will see a real kafana na name Kazar Kutaurwa na Proverbs Kuti. You are a contentious woman. Murume, I know to about the moment that I set my feet into my house, all hell breaks loose. And in a time ye kuti ndi nombo wana o time ye kuta ura Jakanaka ne mkadzo wangu Pandango pindira mumba She's a chatterbox She's uh, she's shouting at me She's throwing tantrums at me She's saying all the bad things to me
someone is saying evangelist the verse once again proverbs chapter 21 right now we are on verse 9 proverbs chapter 21 verse 9 Murume also or not, Jirinane, if I spend much of my time at the club with my friends, drinking beer, playing snooker there, and I just come home to rest, I just come home to sleep, I wake up in the morning, I go, I, I go to work. Why? Because if he gets home early, you are not giving him the time to relax, you are not giving him the time to get his mind off from the stresses at work and all. Achingwa pinda mumba nchanga kubvunzonzi. Apana marie chingwa. Apana jakati, jakazodai, makazodai. Last week mukazonji dai. Gorera pera makazonji dai. Women, we have got diaries of what happened two years ago. And every time the husband walks in, ano tanga kurimaindwa. But mno zivere oti gorera pera futi makandi dai. Last year makazonji dai. Last month mukazodai. This week, last week mukandi dai. You are just a negative woman pano pinda mumpa it's once it's from one story to the other from one issue to the other ana time yeku zorora ana time yeku vunzwa okunzi kubasa kwanga kuri say kushop kwanga kuri say kugaraji kwanga kuri say all you can say is begin to point at his weaknesses you know many times many times as wives we turn we turn a blind eye on all the good things that a husband can do for you and for the family many times we we focus more on his weaknesses on his shortcomings on his mistakes we don't even have time to 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 applaud him for the good things that he does for the family. We don't have time to say thank you for, 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 for the good things that you are doing for our kids, for the good things that you are doing for me as a wife. Imagine your husband, maybe you don't even go to work. Your husband pays the bills. He brings food on the table. He pays school fees, buys uniforms for the kids and everything. After all that... If he makes one one mistake, if he makes one mistake, it's that mistake that you are looking at for the rest of the year. From January to December, you are looking at that single mistake and you are failing to applaud him for all the other good things that he is doing. You as a wife, you should also remember that as a wife, you also have your, 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 your weaknesses. You also have your shortcomings. You also have your mistakes that you make. But usually and most of the times, our husbands do not look at all those mistakes. Kashinji, kacho varume vedo avambotari, sema mistakes ese yuayo. But as wives, my God, munatori ne diary, rano nyora. Muswa 1 January, avanaunti ti epi nyuye. Muswa 14 February, he didn't say uh, happy Valentine's Day. I've announced it and get a Valentine present. On my birthday, I've announced it happy birthday. All those things. But Varume, Varume, my Jinja, I've not time. He could diarize my mistakes. I go. I've not time. He could diarize. So unenge wakanga nisa. I'm just saying this as wives, as as wives. Let's also not forget, good as as much as he is your husband, he is just a human being, just like you, and he makes mistakes. And we should not spend most of our time focusing on the mistakes that he makes, but we should spend much of our time focusing on the good things that he does for the family. Because if you spend much of your time focusing on his mistakes and his shortcomings, surely you are going to spend the rest of your time a bitter wife many wives are bitter just because they spend much of their time focusing on the mistakes focusing on the shortcomings of the husband rather than focusing on the good things that he is doing so that you can enjoy your marriage i just want you to remember this marriage is not a one day commitment marriage is not a one night stand marriage is not a one day international marriage is a lifetime commitment Marriage is a lifetime commitment. If you want to enjoy your marriage, spend much of your time focusing on the strength, on the good things that your husband is doing for the family, rather than focusing on what he is doing wrong. 
Yes, you should think about the things that he is doing wrong, but not in a way that you should become bitter and not in a way that you can begin to point at him and say you are doing this and this and this wrong. You should focus on the good things but also you should think about his weaknesses not to blame him not to offend him but to pray for him to intercede for him i'm not saying i'm not saying everybody is going to be able to do this but here is what i do i focus more on the good things that he's doing for me and for the kids i i i i, I only remember I only think of his weaknesses when I am getting into the war room. When I getting into my prayer closet, I begin to think of his weaknesses and I lay them on the altar and I give them to God. God, I thank you for my husband. I thank you for everything that he's doing for me as his wife. I thank you for everything that he's doing for the kids. But here are his weaknesses that I want you as his, as his maker, as his creator to deal with. I begin to mention them, not to him. I mention them on my prayer altar. I mention them in my closet. I, I take his weaknesses to God. I don't offend. I, 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 I don't point fingers at him to say you are a bad husband. You are a bad father because you are doing A, B, C. No. I list his weaknesses in my heart. And when I get into my closet, it's his weaknesses that I mention before God. So that God can bring him in alignment with his will and with what my heart desires. With what my heart desires for him to be as my husband. I know it's not, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. Also, many wives are bitter because when your husband is, you cannot say it in a way that doesn't offend him. I don't know if you are getting me right. Many times you get bitter because when he, he makes a mistake, when you ask, you don't say it in a way that doesn't offend him. We, we do not have a good communication skills. Yes, he had, but the way that I'm going to present it to him, the way that I'm going to say it to him will determine the way that he's going to respond. If you're going to say it in a way that offends him, obviously he, 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 he may walk out on you. And obviously he may even begin to lash at you. He may begin to shout back at you. Why? Because you are not saying it in a way that doesn't offend him. You are, you are saying it in a, in a way that is offending him. You are saying it in a way that is made... You know, men, I want you to, to, to bear this in mind and always know this. Men have something that is called an ego. Yes, as women, we also have it. But men have a, 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 a big ego. And they don't want this ego to be bruised. And if you are going to say anything to him in a way that is going to make him feel less a man, you are offending him and he may walk out on you. The Bible says, wives submit to your husbands. It doesn't mean when he, 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 he does something wrong. You are not supposed to, to, to say it out to him. What you have done is not good. I'm not happy about it. But it's how you are going to say it. Are you saying it in a way that is not going to offend him? Are you saying it in a way that is not going to take the man out of him? Because many of you, when you want to say out something that he did wrong, you are saying it in a way that is that takes away the man from him. You are saying it in a man that says you are you are not a man. You are less of a man, and that on itself brushes his ego and it offends him. So it is it is it is uh, how you communicate. How do you communicate with your husband? Even akanga ni sakwacho. How do you communicate with him? Are you saying it in a way that res that that respect in a respectful manner? Because I believe even also as a wife, there are some certain there, there is a certain way of communicating that you would not expect from your husband. There, there, there are some certain words and some 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 certain um what can I say? 
there is a certain way of communication that you expect from your husband that shows you that he is respecting me. He is saying this in a respectful way. The same way you feel when he says it in an offensive manner is the same way that he feels when you say it in an offensive manner. Let's say you prepare him a meal. You know that maybe your husband um is is, is he, he drinks he's an alcoholic he drinks many husbands would drink my husband used to drink they don't want to when 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 they are drunk they don't want to maybe you have prepared true for him maybe because the beef the, the meat that was in your refrigerator it, it, it could not be cooked in any other way besides chewing maybe it was only oxtail in the refrigerator obviously you you can't um fry you can't fry oxtail you have to boil it you have to make it true and he comes home you have chewed you have prepared stew. you know he doesn't like stew, and you have prepared stew. but if he's going to say you you know she's even good auntie that's true why did you do this mommy kiro you are and all that are you going to be happy about it how are you going to respond to it but if he says, Kasi panga pasi na ume muriwere, we kubi ikasha, my touch to, yet you know, I don't like to. He's saying it in a respectful way. He's saying it in a way that, 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 that leaves you with that esteem and that confidence as a wife, right? But, so, this is what I'm trying to say. How are you saying it out to, you, to him? Even when you, you are not happy about something that he has done, how are you bringing it to him? How are you saying it to him? Do you know what you can never go by your pauma? Yeah, Makaso die, Mukason did die, Mukason did die, Argo Dokon Wamurume, Argo by your pauma. How do you think he feels? How do you think he feels? The way that you are going to communicate with him is going to determine the outcome of the discussion that you are having and like i said before sometimes also yes 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 and yes he has made a mistake he has wronged you but you should also learn to pick the appropriate time and place for you to say out how you feel about what he has done Learn to pick the appropriate time and the appropriate place. What am I saying? Don't try and raise in sensitive issues when your husband is depressed. Don't try and pick a sensitive issues to discuss when your husband is already said. He looks depressed, he looks sad. And you, you, you pick on sensitive issues to add more to the depression that he already has. That is not going to work out. So we should learn to pick the right time to say some certain issues. Pick the right time and the right place. Do you know that there are wives who can pick a very sensitive issue to discuss in front of kids? In the lounge, you are watching television, you are all watching maybe a family show that you watch together as a family. That is when she chooses to raise a topic, a very sensitive topic. Maybe you are in the car, the, your husband is driving, you are going somewhere. That is when you are choosing to discuss a sensitive issue. How do you expect him to respond? How do you expect him to respond? So as a wife, you should learn to pick the right time and the right place to say out your issues, to sort out your issues. This is what I do, or this is what we do with my husband. We don't discuss sensitive issues when kids are there, and we don't discuss sensitive issues in the house. If he wants to discuss something sensitive with me, we take a walk or a drive. We find a place that is far away from home because I know sometimes when you are discussing sensitive issues, tempers may, may, may rise. And maybe even if you are in your bedroom, your kids may, may end up hearing what you are discussing. So we don't, we don't, we don't do it at home. We, we drive. Or we take a walk, we find a place where we can discuss and solve our issues. We come back home a happy couple. You know what? Your kids will learn from you. 
your sons and daughters are going to learn from you if you are going to say offensive and uh, and 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 sensitive issues in front of them and you are going to explode in front of them that is what they are learning about marriage and is that what you want them to learn and know about marriage that marriage is all about quarreling it's all about um uh fighting I hope I'm helping somebody. I hope I'm helping somebody. Best communication skills. Best communication skills. How do I say this to him? One. When should I say it? Why should I say it? When? How? And good communication. How am I going to say it? Where am I going to say it? When am I going to say it? Pick the right time. Pick the right time. There are times that good you are talking, you are happy with your husband. Those are not even good times for you to pick out sensitive issues because they spoil the mood. Adoka Kumba, Akuvi Girao to my goodies and he's happy and all oh, he's talking to his kids and all. Oh, that's when you, you, you choose to, to, to pick a sensitive topic. That is not going to work. That is not going to work. I hope I'm helping somebody. I hope I'm helping somebody. So, as a wife, you, you need to, to pray even for your tongue. You need to pray for your tongue, Mary. Whatever and however I'm going to say it. Whatever I'm going to say and however I'm going to say it. But I remember in a way that is going to respect him. As my husband, as the head of the family. Let's read the same the same chapter, verse nineteen, verse nineteen, verse nineteen. It is better to dwell in the wilderness that with than with a contentious and angry woman. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious woman. Evangelist. Murume Wangu, it's now uh, five days. He's not coming back home. Evangelist, my husband, it's now uh, a month. He's not coming back home. Did you, did you hear what the Bible is saying? It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious woman. So, Bamwevedu, Ndisu Tega, Trukuva Dzinga, Varume Mudzimba. Bamwevedu, Ndisu Tega, Trukuva Siya, Somebody is asking my ring, my CAP mama. I'm sorry. I'm growing big and my rings are getting small. My rings are getting small. I think you can see from my finger what is happening. So, I'm just saying. Murume also on a jiri nani kuno gara kumba kwa jesi. Also on a jiri nani kuno gara kubawa ku club. Also kaja ke kumba kana na 1 a.m. Oshika ora rama kusen he gets into the bath. O geza obu da wenda kubas. Why? Because you are you are being a contentious woman. I'm just I'm just I'm just uh I just brought this topic so that we can introspect. To go na kutanga oku as wives. Are we being good wives? And then you can see what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Let's share the live stream. 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 Thank you for all for those who are joining. Thank you for those who are jo just joining. Thank you for those who are just joining. Let's share. Let's share. I can only see 12 shares. I can only see 12 shares. Let's share, let's share, let's share, let's share the live stream. So the Bible is saying it is better to dwell in the wilderness than in the same house with a contentious woman. Let's also read um, Proverbs chapter 5 verse 3. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 3. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 3. Let's read Proverbs chapter 5 verse 3. 
we are talking about the tongue of a wife proverbs chapter 5 verse verse 3 proverbs chapter 5 verse 3 for the lips of an immoral woman drip honey for the lips of an immoral woman drip honey and her mouth is smoother than oil the lips of a strange woman the lips of jezebel they drip honey and her mouth is smoother than oil we we, we are still referring to the scripture that that verse 19 Yati, it is better to dwell in the wilderness that, than with a contentious woman. I want you to see why he, he may decide to leave his home and go to the strange woman. Do you now see the reason why he may leave home and go and stay with the strange woman? The lips of a strange woman, they drip honey. Rurimi, West Strange Woman, Runo Tapira. Runo Tapira. Apana pano boshi kachi bayi wa bayi wa. Ku Strange Woman. Apana pano boshi kachi popo terwa. Ku Strange Woman. The lips of a strange woman, they drip honey. The lips of a strange woman, her tongue is full of praises for your men. Your men that you cannot praise at home. Do you know could a strange woman even mu bedroom mu impaya mukati mu impaya mukati the 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 rurimi we strange woman runenge rwaka zara ne rumpizo ah let let let's face reality kana waka bobata ma messages a strange woman mu phone ya murume wako you understand what i'm talking about pane pa waka bonzwa chi vajur wa chi dampurwa mu ma messages chakaita kuti uri wadziwe inya iya kuti the messages were sweet zva zva zvasinga ite kwa uri wewe the messages were so sweet why because the strange woman was also sweet I want got it out of chokwadi. Got it out of chokwadi. Pani message yes, strange woman. Ya wakam bobata mufoni. Muruma wako achi tu kwa ere. Ma message ma jinja. Ani nga ekuti. Baby, thanks for last night. It was so good and you were so sweet. Ani ndo shaka kubata bata. Pa waka maona ma message yes, achona. Yet, mumpacha imo cha imo. Mumpacha imo cha imo. He is very sweet. That husband of yours. But... You cannot say it to him. You cannot applaud him for that sweetness. And another woman out there is praising him and applauding him. I don't know if, if, if what I'm saying is making sense. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense. The, the lips of a strange woman, they drip honey. Saka aka vakubasa. Ano tanga afunga uti wakomana. Ndiyente kumpa kune zigadzi ria ere. Ndino tanga kudampurwa. Kana uti ndimbo tanga shangu ndano tantara. Kwa mainini. Ndo soenda kumbanda kunorara. Is it making sense? What I'm saying, is it making sense? Kana waka mbobata ma phone ya murume wako, ukabata ma message a strange woman. You understand what I'm talking about. Her lips, they drip honey. And the lips of a strange woman, they drip honey. And her, her mouth, her mouth. Let's read again. Let's read again. For the lips of an of a strange woman drip honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. Her mouth is smoother than oil. Agone kuti akumbire mari agonima. Iye achi gona ku soft, achi gona ku believeisa. Murume wako, muromo wake uno gona ku believeisa. Murume wako. Ndruko na kutre na wakazi wekuti muromo wako nerurimi wako rucha gona kumubili visa. Your lips are going to drip honey and your mouth is going to be smoother than, than oil when you are talking with your husband. Say ya chiku nyi mamari kana wakumbira. 
makumpiriro kamukumpiriro ka unoita ndo kana determine kuti inobuda here kana utaibude if you are going to say saka isha shishi makutobuda makutobuda isha shishi hapana kana maria chingwa pana hapa ende muno shisiba musoro wangu amusikuona zvawakaita amusikuona kuti magodaya achaita musoro mangu if that is what how you are going to say it if that is how you are going to say it inobuda here mari hapa inobuda here inobuda here ngati taure icho kwadi ngati taure icho kwadi But if you are going to say maybe matamba zvenyu matamba matamba muri in your inner chamber mama kuda kurara pepe uchingopuruzira omurume wa de musoro wa de de chimbobate wa musoro wangu edwe mukunzo zvichiita here zvinoita here zvidwe kana kubuda nena musima kutonyara inotadza here kubuda inotadza here kubuda mari so i'm saying kamutauriro kam muri kuzvitaura sei muri kuzvitaura sei mu believe this and at the right time mu believe this at the right time kune vakadzi vekuti Murume adzoka kubasa he is so tired maybe he works in a construction company he is so tired ashika uh, uh, you you had your your meal with the family mageza and all maita zvese zvinoitwa ndidzi murume arara apane ngatanga ku 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 maybe pano tango kuti body yazorora akurara aku akurowa ne ne gokora imi mukai Mukai je je pane zvandu rudao taura mukai apa murimo muka chiko sakai je 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 hamuskona hamuskuziza kuti muno mumumpa hamuna chirimo makapedzira rini kutenga grocery pano pamba hey does it work does it work angati ngotaurira nai ngati ngotaurira nai ngati ngotaurira nai zvino buda here Yes I know. I know that there are some some certain spirits and some certain demons that are there to wreck homes. But sometimes we are so super chedu we add on to that. Sometimes we are the, the the enzymes. We are the biological catalyst that speed up the reaction yekurambwa nevarume. We are the biological cat we are the, the the enzymes that are speeding up process yekubuda kwemurume mumba. What is making sense? But as wives, as wives, let us try. Let us try to to communicate properly with our husbands in a way that respects them. In a way trying to call, let's try to respect them. Let's try to respect them. Whatever you are going to say, say it in a way that respects him. So that is that is the teaching that I had. That is the teaching that I had. Um, so we talk. We, there are some people who just joined. We were talking about um, good communication skills. Even when you are saying something, uh, something bad that your husband is does is done. Communicate with him in a way that respects him. In a way that is not going to brush his ego. One, find the right time. to say whatever you want to say find the right time to discuss sensitive issues and also find the right place find the right place to discuss sensitive issues so um i hope i hope and believe i have helped somebody i hope and believe i have helped somebody i hope and i believe i have helped somebody to no funga nda try Thank you pana ari kuti uh, prophet Deborah Barbara Sabora ndoda kubvunzawo it's okay go ahead go ahead vunza hako zvauri kuda kubvunza vunza hako zvauri kuda kubvunza
kubvunza hako, kubvunza hako, shauru kuda kubvunza, kubvunza hako, shauru kuda kubvunza. I can only see 25 shares. Let's continue to share. Let's continue to share. Somebody may benefit from this. Let's continue to share. Somebody may benefit from this. I cannot see the question. I cannot see the question. Where is the question? There's somebody who said, I want to, I have got a question. Thank you, and thank you. That's it, Zao. But if I'm ever room, ever could totora advantage, you can yarara ikoko, otokona serema. Each rat zochideme ma fratiti. I didn't say, I didn't say you should keep quiet. But I said, how are you saying it? When you when you talk about it, when you discuss, when when you want to to to, to bring it to your husband, kuti apamakanga nisa. How are you saying it? It's not like you should you should just remain silent if and if he is wrong in you. But how are you saying it? When you say it, how do you say it? I didn't say be quiet. And now kuti ramba waka nyara rakuita unge waka pusa. Um, kanandichemu pa respect, but haji wone. How do you deal with this? Do paya pe kuti ndati, maybe, maybe, alright, maybe, uh, he has, he, he, he continues to make the same mistake and usually I know kuti my mistakes akawanta are not affected. They are issues to do with fidelity. They, they, sometimes it, 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 it is not going to work to continue talking about it and telling him. Pane mamwe ma issues e kuti, you can only, they can only be solved when you go with them in your closet and you take it to God in prayer. There are some issues that you, you are not going to solve. Negutaura. There are some issues that you cannot solve, Nekutaura. There are some issues that can only be solved in the closet. There are some issues that can only be solved in the closet. You begin to pray for, for his salvation. You begin to pray that he may see light. You begin to pray that God, your conviction belongs to you. Begin to convict my husband for me. Let me say this. Issues of infidelity... You are not going to solve them by discussing and throwing tantrums at him. Issues of infidelity, you can only solve them by bringing him to the throne of grace and mercy in prayer. And this is, I don't know if, 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 if I have helped somebody. Pane mama, my issues are single solve when you could Neku discuss a kudai so muchitaura kudai. Pane mama ma issues are single so veke. Pane ma issues are no so veka in the prayer room. In your prayer closet. Thanks for the teaching. I see Vameva rume vane naro chero chimuonesa anofunga ari right. A gweta week rese. A singa taure. In, in, this one in and get all spirit. In and get all spirit. A kuti moon ano spend a one week here. Same moon passing at our any moon. In and get all spirit. A kuti out to end them closet. Umbo no woods a mar kuti spirit. Ripamu rume wangu a kuti kanatika taura something. Ano pedza one week. It is in a taudzane. Mari begin to deal with it because it's not normal. The Bible says, do not say, let the sun set in your wrath. Usare geza zuvari chivira wakatsama. Dikumpira o scripture ya tanga kuverengwa. It's Proverbs chapter 21 verse 9 and verse 19. Women of God, how do you do in a situation you put you are pregnant and you are always sick and the same time Abi Anengachida Ozun Jake if you don't give him you will then be angry and auto kuza mashoko. 
um, I don't understand. S seek in, 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 in which way? You are pregnant and you are always sick. Which means way? Pane pane panons we sicka pe guti maybe you are sick. Urku your pregnancy urku affect amu sana wako. Ipa pa pochi nons we sicka but sick in what in what terms? Even do you know kuti manes chayo kuma clinic wa kuti zawan kuti kuta kuva kuva pregnant doesn't mean kuti you cannot have. You cannot be intimate with your husband. Vakadzi vakawanta varikuzo tizwa mudzimba nevarume panguva yane ngane numbu because kucha numba avato varira murume shekuti nine months dzese nine months dzese mwana wa vamwe achinzi mirira kushikanda zosununguka wasununguka kwacho it's another six weeks akamirira Let's be realistic vaskana numbu in nine months do you think Murume Wako are not going to pay the nine months? They say, I can't go marry that because I was you, you, for those nine months. They said, I can't go marry that. Let's be realistic. And this is I don't know if you have answered, I've answered you well. Pane Kurwara could not affect that process. Yam bedroom. Kwakuti may be Musana Chayo, Do Urkurwaza. Kanakuti may be Doctor Wakati Pane Pamachi Bereko Chako Chine, some, 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 some errors, some mistakes. The Kuti, if you are going to do it more, we in a numpu, you can miscarry. That way we understand. But pane kungorwara kwe kuti maybe uh, you are urukuruza urukungonzwa koko sema kuti andi skuda. Let's be realistic. I go miri rama na rama ene for those nine months. I can go miri out kana mazo pera kana kana mazo no pona mukaita futi six weeks after masununguka then mazo tanga. I don't know if I've answered you well. I don't know if I've answered you well. Do you think the same applies to husbands who like going out a lot? Uh, do you take this to your prayer room? Going out, nyashamu, going out to drink here, does he go out to club, kubawa, kunonwa, or going out out of the country, achenda kuma holidays, achikusia? I'm not understanding. Because if, if he's going out, achinwa, if he drinks, you need to pray against that addiction because it's the addiction, it's the addiction that is uh, driving him to go out. So we need, to, we, in prayer now, we deal with this addiction. We deal with the alcohol addiction in prayer. And when he stops drinking, obviously, anenga alcohol no ite. And this kuziva, if I help somebody, let's share the live stream. Let's share the live stream. I'm seeing 26 shares only. I'm seeing 26 shares only. Kova rumeva noti kanavane mari avabatiki then kana asina he becomes a good husband. How do you do with such a husband? Because at the end of the day, we feel used. Um... I think you were there when I was giving a teaching about uh, spiritual spouses. It's not only that you, you, you can have a spiritual husband. Your husband can also have a spiritual wife. And that spiritual wife, the, 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 the mission of a spiritual wife when he's, she's there in your husband's life is to destroy your marriage. And how does she achieve this? She can only achieve this by frustrating you. Like right now, you have raised this issue because you are frustrated. Your husband doesn't give you money, but can I ask Why? Because that spiritual spouse wants to frustrate you. How does it achieve this? By Sometimes ino to connect to 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 ana Jezebel na na marwe ikunze ana Jezebel iwa wava gotenge wa mota wava gotenge wa zimba iwo sna jauru kuitiwa so that at the end of the day you are frustrated and you are pushed to the edge and you end up saying ah no I give up let me just quit and move out of this marriage so ijo jezo 
it, it, it can be spiritual. It can be spiritual and you need to deal with it in prayer. You need to deal with it in prayer because it is not normal. I, I, I think I have answered. I think I have answered you. I think I've answered you. Whenever remember no whenever remember no we you we need to deal with that addiction in prayer. I think I'm going to dedicate some seven days towards that. I think I'm going to dedicate some seven days towards that. The Kungona matter to disconnect them from this addiction. To disconnect them from this addiction. Get ready. I, 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 we, we are going to deal with it. Uh, we are going to dedicate seven days of prayer against alcohol addiction. We are going to dedicate seven days of prayer against alcohol addiction. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for joining me. Then, um, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, I just wanted us to discuss this. On a lighter note, I wanted us to discuss this. Um, Pa, when you go shopping, pa, when you when pamenda kuno 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 tenga, maybe say urkuno tenga embe zakoi wewe. What do you consider? What do you consider when you are buying your clothes? What do you consider when you are buying your clothes? Let's just discuss on a lighter note. What do you consider when you are buying your clothes? Jiza uno consider uchitenga embe. Jiza uno consider when you are buying when you are revamping your wardrobe what do you consider what do you consider when revamping your 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 wardrobe then another question if everybody else is wearing it if everybody else is wearing it does it make it right it's a question if everybody else is wearing it maybe people are posting it on um in, in fashion groups, maybe on Facebook, on Instagram, does it make does that make it right? Does that make it right? All right, uh, people are answering. Somebody said cost is the first thing. Yes, yes, cost is the first thing. Let me say this once again. You don't need to be expensive to look good. You don't need to be expensive to look good, right? You end up giving your husband pressure of something maybe that he cannot even afford just because somebody else was wearing that because mining you pressure and you think uh, wearing those expensive labels in those are look good. No, let me say this you should consider cost initially cost can i afford this can i afford this right then can i after after considering cost somebody is saying uh cheaper and nicer yes there are some things that are cheap but it depends on how you are going to 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 rock it on do you know what i can buy a skate power cells just a simple skirt, my power cells. But the way that I'm going to wear it, and like maybe if it's a skirt, the top that I'm going to 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 match uh, with that skirt, and the shoes that I'm going to make it match it with, is going to determine if it's going to come out nice. So on considering cost, on considering cost, you should also consider. We have got this mistake usually. You go to a shop just because something is nice. Just because something is nice is not going to make it proper for your wardrobe. What am I saying? You see a nice skirt. Maybe it's simple, but it's nice. You can afford it. First, you should also consider, do I have a top in my wardrobe that matches with this skirt? Do I have a top that is going to match with the skirt that I want to buy? You cannot buy a flat skirt. You don't you know matcha with a big a big blouse or a big top. That is not going to that is not going to to, 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 to match. That is not going to match, right? So you before before you 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 buy something, first think do I have anything that matches 
Do I have anything that matches with this thing that I want to buy in my wardrobe? If it's a slack, if it's a, a, a skinny jean, if it's um, if it's a, uh, it's a, it, it's um, what do we call this? If it's um, what what are these? What are these? If it's a skirt, if it's a trousers, if it's a skin jean, uh, you should consider, could he, do I have a top that is going to match with this? Do I have a top that is going to match with the skirt that I'm buying? Do I have a top that is going to match with the trousers that I'm buying? Do I have a top that is going to match with this? Then if, it's, if you have, you can go ahead and buy. Because if you are going to buy a skirt that doesn't have a matching top, because you are loving the skirt, but you don't have a top to match with it. You end up being a, a Christmas tree. I know there is, uh, there is color blocking in fashion, but panemang ma color blockings are singer zoite. Then somebody is saying, um, yeah. Then we are talking, panemang ata andite zeriva amwe kanandichitenga. Do you know kutikuna oma muna noti Ie ari slim Ana ma hips Ana bust Ona yembe ya kamecha munu Ane ma hips munu Ane a big, a, a big bust Then she goes Shopping Looking for that particular dress Or for that particular outfit Really let me ask you <laughs> How do you expect it to match How do you expect it to fit Auna ma hips acho, auna bust acho, but you are buying something chawaona, chaka fita munu, ane bust, ane ma hips. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So you, I would say you don't buy something because wawona chaka fita mwe munu, and you don't buy something just because it's nice. You buy something because it fits you well. You buy something because you feel comfortable in it. It fits you. You feel comfortable in it. So, because because mining give up next door kachitenga lot of which I can also buy it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Tenga zinu zino kufita zino endra na ne body ako. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your response. Thank you so much for your response. Then we come to the issue of decency. Because everybody else is wearing it or because many people are wearing it, does that make it proper? Does that make it proper? Pane not because it's proper, but because everybody else is wearing it. Because everybody is wearing it, so I can just I can just buy it and also wear it. But is it proper? Is it proper? As a decent woman kupfeka bam short rino rino gumira pakaperera. Pakatangira zhijika shakwa ap, ap, pa, pa, pano sangana makumbo, pano sangana makumbo, ne, 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 this chunk, wapfeka kabam shot kano gumira ipapo. Maybe, does, does it make it proper? Because, does it make it proper because many people are wearing it? Kanam sana panze because everybody else is wearing it, does it make it proper? Does it make it proper? Ungati urao sei kutijo waka pfeka ajite ana koleta mtetua. It depends. It depends on who the person is. If the person is your friend, in, be my friend. Be my friend and you will know me. 
even if you are putting on something that that is not proper i will tell you there and there if you are my friend or you are my my sister you are my if you are putting on something that is not proper i will tell you there and there this is not this is not proper so it depends it depends it depends there are some people who blow it out of proportion if you try to tell them kuti this is not proper so kango fane kuti au gone kusangana na somebody that you don't even know in town womudza kuti zva wakapfeka izvi azvite it depends on kuti uri kuudzani it depends nekuti uri kuudzani then on on issue of dressing also somebody typed kuti um when i'm buying things i consider also my complexion yes that's very true if you are dark in complexion, you should avoid dull colors. If you are dark in complexion, avoid dull colors. If you are light in complexion, avoid very bright and shouting colors. If you are dark in complexion, avoid dark colors. If you are light in complexion, avoid bright and shouting colors. Um, then also, on dressing, don't just don't just wear don't just put on something for the sake of putting it on uh, uh, we are talking about maybe you are going out you are going to town or you are going out with your husband or with friends you you don't just you don't just put on uh, clothes for the sake of uh, putting them on right depending on the function depending on the function you you choose a suitable um clothes for that function and also on matching try to to mix your colors in a way that comes out nice pane pampe kuti shwa muna nenge akapfeka ugomtarisa ugoti really where is this zviri kusangana papi zvakapfeka kune vanhu vano kungopfeka kungopfeka just kuti Ndafeka. I'm putting at least I'm putting on something. No, when you are when you are when you are dressing, try try to, 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 to mix and match. Try to mix and match. Find colors that find colors that I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Florence Marshall, how do I know it's nice, Siswaza? You know it's nice if it fits well. Um, you know it's nice when it fits well. And when if you, you feel comfortable in it, it fits well. You don't just put on things for the sake of putting them on. I don't know if I'm helping somebody. I don't know if this topic has helped somebody. I don't know if the topic has helped somebody. I don't know if the topic has helped somebody. Then, pane kupfeka kwe kuti, really, muna no gona kupfeka. Ano nzichiko mama mama trao zangari kwa What do they call them? Hipsters. Muna ano no feka hipster. Ova feka zi dress to prakada iso. Pane kupfeka kwe kuti wafeka, unofeka hipsa nezi dress to prakati kupfuru. Uh, no, let's, we are discussing and it. We have seen it. We have seen it. Ndamaya hava shu hava topi ndambathi wa geza. Vafeka zi hipsa ravo nezi dress to prao. Vato nda kuma shops kuno tenga mri oye maneru. Let's 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 discuss. Let's talk. She know it here. She know it here. Can a fled skirt with a dress top? Wakato pe ka wakato miri la dead. Guti wa zoke kubas. The fled skirt guvuru. The dress top guvuru. She know it here. Like I said, on a, on, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, you do. Love me so costina. And this is dress never take. It's so quiet. Dress never take. Upon my dead body. 
Nasi tukuda tukuenda kuma ku Brian ma friends angu never cut zao. Maima na gadziri rai nduku ya nchiku torai. Ziku drezi maziteki. Anza kawa miri la dead. Kutika oya wanti tore tende. Ngati ngati ngofungai. Ngati, because sometimes o, dressing yedu ino jite maina. Dressing yedu ino jite maina okuti. Baba wano gona wele kubuda neni kana kwenta oneni kana kumashops Because pane pampa kutishuwa muruma ane nga hapu chochika oti Even kwenta na yepa mashops kwenti kasanga na nema friends angu Haka pfe kaka mfekero kaka itaka jino zo ita yere jino buda se Ndrukungo 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 one sana ndrukungo one sana Because pampacho nono zoti muruma wangu hada oti ndiente kubasa kwa kenti ndi kwa ano shantira muruma wangu hadi kubuda neni But pampacho nao iwa wacho nduone nko chito konzeres Ani nka chito nyaro kutu wakuma na ndobuda ona ya ne mafe kero haka ya ndobuda ona ya sayi Ndo inde pina ya ndo mindro jusa sayi kuma friends angu uh, it's, it's, it's on a lighter note. It's just on a lighter note. Tingwa one sana o. Some of the mistakes and the errors that we are making. Jebuti. Tino zo chema futi pa msoro pa shukuti. Ah. Murume wangu atombo. Deku buda neni. Murume wangu atombo. Ndi ndro juse kana kuma friends ake. Murume wangu waka zodai. <laughs> Constance Murota. And three piece outfit. Ne sneaker. Yes. Na hii michoko adi. Nga tingwa diskasai. Nga tingwa diskasai yo. Tingwa pa gaziri. Sandiri. Tingo pa gaziri isa kungotu oka nataa kufeka o Muna nungo feka o Nungo one kera o kutichero murume wako Nuzo atipane pampe kuti o Ano kuona o wakanya tuo jisota bobo Wakaroga waka make up kako Wafeka shaka naka Ife nanga asinga deku buda Ano ngo shiko vata Gati mbo pinda mtaun Just kungo nzuo manyu kunyu Kungo ta maima na nasi waka sota Denda ngo buda ona opanze Waka ngo one kwa ota ayewa Ndine simbi yangu kumba uku. No, ngati ngo one sanai. Ngati ngo one sanai. <laughs> Memori makuinda anzi trek sutu ne jombo. Kana, kana uti trek sutu. Muno vati zisketi pa msoro. Anzi antito mbo jigone ini. No, kana, kana usinga jigone. Garaware geza kutenga trek sutu yacho. Ungo tenga madres ne masketi na hii. Ndruku nye pawele. Ndruku nye pawele. Kutunua na muna kafeka zitrek sutu pasi Zisketi pa msoro oto funzo tinaim kwa Nde ipi kwe Anza anti shigone Antu mbo gondinga Aaaa kutindifeke trous rega Antu mbo shigone Saka mambo itengere yu alright Anzi jeans skate Ne jacket re outfit Yei ayo pano paruku tapira nas Ayo ajite Ajite, ajite, ngati ngo diskasai, ngati ngo taurai, ngati ngo taurai, kamfekero, kamfekero plus wise buy, kanantaa kunotenga o embe, kanantaa kunotenga o embe, ndo tanga wanda fungoti mwodrop mangu, what does this go with? Kana zipitko, ya, ipapa hapo, let me, let me, Pane wama nanofeka zi pitch coat And Yembe yacho ya kafeke Rwa pitch coat ka Aitombo de pitch coat Wana zi pitch coat na kubudikira kunzoku Ayo wangatu wane sane Gatu wane sane Nuzo watu kune zime yembe zisinga Tombo di ma pitch coat Watu nana muna kafeka zi pitch coat na kubudikira kunzoku Yembe yacho chitari sa It doesn't even need a pitch coat Gati taure Gati taure Kamfekero, kamfekero, kana kuti zibra. Muruko zaati dress ra muruko dau feka ka, ndere blue. Dress ra muruko dau feka ndere blue and arina mas sleeves andi tika. Wafeka, wafu wafeka. Braye ready ne mazi banda ya ya mazi dafu dafu ya. Wafu wafeka dress ra kure blue. Ngati diskase, ngati, these days, mutaun mune, mune, mune jima, jima transparent, uh, uh, brass chips, jiruku tengeswa, ajimbo dure askana, njitika, kanoti zao, kotu unofarira kufeka, yembe za 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 kazi, sinama oku, njiti, ndo sa wati, it's difficult, kutuwane bra, ino mecha each and every color, that you have in your wardrobe, njiti, but kwa kungono tenga o ito tuwa tuma tuma colorless brass chips tuye tuye anditi. Kana uchida ufeka o embe i 
is nama woko wonko isa woka kala les uyu kako kaya kaya wopeka uja kaka kaka katop kako kaya kaka dress kako e kako kano budi sa o it makes sense and it you know make a sense and it ngati ngo taurai ngati ngo taurai vedue ngati ngo taurai ndi pamwe pacho na bra yacho ja inenge ya kaita pamwe pacho zibra racho ri mawoko acho na anenge akatoti cha kusviba unotari samunu obva tanga kumunyarira kuti hey vedue then ipapa apo ndiri pa ma sleeveless ndiri pa ma sleeveless ngati taure e onya yae mu hapa um ndiri pa ma sleeveless ipapo unaona munhu akapfeka sleeveless akasimudza ruoko kudai so Unaona vudzi re brown kana rakuita jinja mapka Ipa papa akatozo akatozora akatozora rollo ani mapka macho na imomo Ai wangati ngati ngotaurira nai ngati ngotaurira nai pane pampe kuti unoshodera munhu unoshodera munhu asimudza ruoko kuda yakapfeka sleeveless apa mapka mune vudzi rakaita jinja And this kuziva, and this zivika nanda bete ra sambadi, and this kuziva kana pane abati rika netopi kie china chanas, and this zaka na pane abati rika netopi kie china chanas. Pane wanda abati ra ere, pane wanda abati ra ere. Yes, nams t mangwe nya, and nema pants ano dinda. Zokwa di pane pampe kutu noto onoti. Pente riku gumira apa ukukusai jukuri nenge raka pinda mkati. Ipa apa apu, ngati pa gaziri sei futi. Ngati pa gaziri sei, ipa apu. Ngati pa gaziri sei. Ngati pa gaziri sei, ngati pa gaziri sei. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. Let's share this live stream. Let's share this live stream. Pane mkazano guna wakuto batirika. Nekachi na kedu kepa anap. Let's just share the live stream. Let's spread the love. Let's spread the love. Let's spread the love. I love you so much. I love you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Let's meet again tonight for our midnight cry.